Are you looking for perfect slider settings, something that is realistic, challenging but still fair? These are the perfect settings for you. Let's start with the AI difficulty, set it to legend and the only thing you have to change is ball quality. Change it to 60, what this will do is make AI bowlers ball better deliveries. AI batsmen are pretty good but AI bowlers do tend to bowl too many bad deliveries and this will change that slightly. If you're playing a test match you can set this to even 70 but for limited overs 60 is good enough. Let's move on to bowling, set the base difficulty of bowling to hardest and the only thing you have to change is ideal release window size. When you uh, keep this at zero, I mean you start bowling no balls almost every over. Increasing this to 20 will make it slightly easier so that you don't bowl no balls every single ball. We want difficulty but we want it to be realistic difficulty so this will do that. Now let's move on to batting once again set the base difficulty to hardest. Now the first thing you're going to change is ball market display time. Increase it to 20 so this will give you enough time to see where the ball is and play it all around the ground. If you set this to zero you might end up playing only on the leg side everything will be a premeditated shot so give yourself a little bit of time especially because we're going to increase the speed of the ball a lot. So now moving down all of this are kind of on default. The second thing you're going to change is ideal input power boost. So what this does is when you play a ideal shot you get a slight power boost. So you play perfect cover drive you get extra bit of power which is much needed right. When you play a perfect cover drive the ball must go a little bit faster and this will do that. Of course power boost timing window full toss or so a full toss will have a little bit of a power boost and here's another change edges good input influence so when you play a good shot there's about a very small chance of you nicking the ball and okay of course is at 40 and when you play a poor shot there is about uh, if you set it to 80 I think uh, it means about 80% of the time you will nick the ball it's usually at 100 so Get it to 80 because this game has way too many edges and it's not realistic at all. If you want you can uh, set this to 60 even, even that is good but if you're a good player, if you're played this game for a while I think 80 is good enough. Now let's uh, move on to fielding, there's nothing really to change, the game has the most basic fielding mechanics ever so set this to hardest and move on to the most fun part which are the physics sliders. So the first thing you're gonna change is Base bowling speed minimum which is usually at 50 set it to 25 so what this will do is make slow balls very slow really slow and now the next thing you're gonna change is pace bowling speed max normal deliveries and quick deliveries will be will be faster than usual so set this to 80 and these are all fine I like to increase spin bowling flight just a little bit seeing spinners flight the ball nicely that looks good so I set it to 60 and then you have to increase pace bowling swing to a hundred I love doing this because it makes the game like very very fun to play when the ball is moving all over the place so pace bowling swing and pace bowling revolutions as well 100 uh, this is basically for off cutters leg cutters and things like that if you want you can change these two according to the pitch when it's a green track you can change swing when it's a dry wicket you can increase revolutions do not increase pin bowling drift at all because if you increase it even a little bit the AI start bowling wides on the leg side almost every ball it's just is it's just is unrealistic and it gets boring as well so keep that as it is and of course you can increase spin bowling revolutions to 100 as well but I think 80 is more realistic spin bowlers become unplayable when you set this to 100 so all these are okay and then the next thing is short force you can set it to 60 this is another thing that will make scoring boundaries just a little bit easier but it makes the game realistic when you play good shots and when you middle it the ball will fly to the boundary and of course the final thing you have to change here is pace bowling visual speed so set it to 80s on normal sliders the ball just looks way too slow and it doesn't feel like fast bowling so set this to 80 for a nice immersive experience 
and of course umpiring there's nothing really to change i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you'll have fun playing with these sliders with this difficulty the game will be challenging it will be really challenging but it will also be very realistic click the video on screen to see me use the nightmare slider setting where it's almost impossible to score even 15 runs i just tried to block and block and block block the entire 90 overs on day 5 to draw a test match make sure to check that out that was a lot of fun for now subscribe it really means a lot thanks for watching and have a great day wherever you are